I think just a little video to show how we stand out from other companies, the difference. So the clients recently had this sprinkler valve installed by their incumbent sprinkler company and they've left it like this with a load of wires hanging down and basically said, not our job, it's the fire alarm that needs to connect to. Now I've come here today and looking at the existing, so all the head of this junction here, this bit of wire hanging out, which was connected to the old switch that they took out, which is that unit there. And when I've looked at it, it basically is connected to this panel, which is the sprinkler monitoring panel. So it's not the fire alarm, it's the sprinkler panel. But I said to the client, no problem. Um, basically it's a fire alarm panel, but with sprinkler written on it, so we can work it out. Do you want us to do it? The client said, yes, go ahead. So this is what I'm doing today. So what I've done, I've had a quick just break it down. In here, we've got this terminal strip and you can see on there you've got an end of line and a firing resistor. There's a wire missing out of here, there's three wires on it. Basically these three wires are going to uh, a micro switch, which effectively is the same as a relay, so you have a common, a normally closed and normally open. So on my new one, I've identified, I'm not sure you can see it on there, but the, I identified the three cables that are given the same, and now I'm gonna connect these three cables up onto there, obviously if I have a bit of, bit of flexi sleeving like this one is. Once that's done, that will uh, indicate when it's been closed rather than uh, going into fault and the client will be happy because we've done something that the other company said they couldn't do. That's what makes us the difference. Okay, so this video is to sort of show the, the uh, connected version and the testing. So we've connected up, I've got three wires coming out of my flow switch, and a flow switch, the uh, isolation valve. I've got a, a yellow wire, which is my common, my red wire, which is my normally closed, and my green wire, which is my normally open. So in normal condition, there's only seeing going through, coming through here, because that's open, it's going forced to go through to the end line resistor. And because this side is closed, it's bypassing the firing resistor and going straight back up to the panel. So I'm now gonna operate the valve. As you see, the panel go shows a closed condition. So what's happening now is the voltage is coming down from the zone. It's now the, the, uh, the, the green wire has now closed. So bypassing the end of line, but forcing it now to go through the firing resistor because that's obviously the red wire has now gone open circuit. So that's why the, the effectively the panel's gone into a fire condition. But obviously because it's a sprinkler panel, they've just changed the LEDs to different colors. But uh, just like a fire alarm panel, you have to silence and then reset.